Nico was a part of me. For Milagro Rosario, imagining life without her son is a pain. Hurts almost as much as imagining her five-year-old granddaughter's life without her dad. I does not know why her dad is not picking up the phone for her. 27-year-old Nico Taylor, just one of the victims in a day-long string of shootings in St. Paul. He died at Regents Hospital after being targeted in his car near University Avenue and Marion Street early Tuesday morning. They had to do something about it. It's, it has to stop. A whole lot more work to do. That call to action heard by Dora Jones Robinson with Guns Down St. Paul. She's already planning her next gun summit in November. To talk about it instead of going retaliate, which causes more gun violence in our community. And next weekend, Twin Cities Nonviolent is also stepping up. We need transformative change. Holding events promoting 10 days free from violence. I'm learning different ways to respond when we have conflict, learning ways to be able to listen to one another and to come together with our solutions. You're angry because it's, it's, it was senseless. For Milagro, it's calling for that change while remembering her son, a father who deserved better. He loved music. He loved spending time with families. Um, but above, above all of those things, his daughter. Milagro says she has not slept since her son was shot and killed. Meantime, we have all the information about Twin Cities nonviolent and their events starting next weekend on our website, care11.com. Randy. All right. Thank you, Carla.